wanted to talk to you about magic mud. Well, it's also known as non-Newtonian fluid, in a more formal way of speaking. If you still don't know what that is, don't worry. We'll talk about it later on in the video. But first, we need to talk about matter. Matter is something that takes up space and has weight, volume, and mass. Everything from your computer to your desk, your goldfish to your orange juice, your trees to the river Seine, is made up of matter. Matter has three states, solid, liquid, and gas. Particles in a solid are tightly packed, usually in a regular pattern. They also vibrate or jiggle, but generally do not move from place to place. A solid retains a fixed volume and shape. It is rigid because the particles are locked into place. A solid is also not easily compressible, as there is little free space between particles. Additionally, a solid doesn't flow easily. As said before, it is rigid. Particles in a liquid are close together with no regular arrangement. They also vibrate, move about, and slide past each other. A liquid assumes the shape of the part of the container which it occupies, because its particles can move or slide past one another. A liquid is not easily compressible. There is little free space between particles. A liquid also flows easily, for, as said before, particles can move and slide past each other. Particles in a gas are well separated, with no regular arrangement. They vibrate and move freely at high speeds. A gas assumes the shape and volume of its container, because its particles can move past one another. Gas is compressible. There's lots of free space between particles. And finally, gas flows easily, again, because its particles can move past one another. Alright, but how does all of this have to do with our mysterious magic mud? We'll find out. But first, we need to make it. You will need a measuring container, 150 millimeters of cornstarch, 90 millimeters of water, a large bowl or container, and a spoon to mix with. If you wish to conserve it, prepare a Ziploc bag. Make sure you have a clean, large area and protection, because this will be messy. Step 1. Pour the cornstarch into the large container. Step 2. Pour the water in too. Step 3. Mix with the spoon. It will become hard to mix after a few seconds. Your magic mud is made. Enjoy! You will notice that it is hard when you put pressure on it and a sort of goo when you dip your finger or spoon in slowly. Don't forget, this does make quite a mess, so be careful when manipulating it not to spread it everywhere. Properties of the mud are very strange, and once the magic mud dries on your fingers, it feels like dried wax. Don't worry though, it washes off quickly with a little water. Note not to throw this substance in the drain. Leave it to dry as powder, and then throw it in the trash. Your magic mud is by all means fun to manipulate with, and messy. But again, what does this have to do with our previous subject, matter? Well, it all comes back to this. Your magic substance is made up of matter, obviously. So, what is its state? Is it a solid, a liquid, or a gas? Let's find out. Do you know what this is? Do you know what, what it's made of? What do you think this is? Um, I think it's kind of a liquid sand. Okay. Uh, do you think it's sort of milk? Okay, yeah. sure. Um, so, you know about matter, right? Everything is made of yeah. matter. Yeah. And the three states of matter are liquid, solid, and gas. So, what do you think, what do you think this is? Like, do you think it's solid or liquid? Well, it's a liquid. But I think before it was a solid. Oh, okay. Interesting. Solid. Yeah. Or liquid. Or yeah. Yeah. Liquid. Liquid. Okay. So um, 
do do exactly like tell me you want to. Yeah. <laughs> um. So do it like I'm doing. Okay. Do this. Oh my god. So what, what do you think it's now? Solid. Yeah. Exactly. So now, um, wait. I'm going to take some in my hand. Uh. Okay. Like that. Roll it in my hands, and I'm gonna pass it to you, and you're, you're gonna do the same thing as me. Okay? You're gonna roll it. Do it quickly. Okay. Okay. And now let your hand put your hand like this. So, what like, from what you felt? Did you feel a solid when you? Yes. Yeah. So now, what you hypothesize is this? Do you think it's a, a oh liquid God. solid or? A uh, I think it's. Um, it's hard because when I touch it, it's a solid. But when I look at it, it's like a liquid. I think it's both. Okay. <laughs> it's liquid. Yeah. So, uh, what what do you think this is? Do you think um, if it's a solid and a liquid? It's a solid and liquid. Okay. So, uh, so now you can tell that it's as you were. You were right. Your assumption was right. This is a solid and uh, and a liquid. It's it's weird. It's called a non newtonian your magic mud is made of tiny particles of coarse starch suspended in water. Chemists call this mixture a colloid. Your spoon, fingers, and hands are applying what physicists would call a sideways shearing force. When you apply the shearing force, the water shears or moves out of the way. This leaves solid particles of coarse starch to come together and form a tight solid. When you let go, taking back the shearing force, the water flows back between the particles, making it a liquid. The behavior of your magic mud relates to its viscosity or resistance to flow. This fluid's viscosity is a variable based on the applied stress or force. Back in the 1700s, Isaac Newton identified the properties of an ideal liquid. Water and other liquids that have the properties that Newton identified are called Newtonian fluids. Your magic mud doesn't act like Newton's ideal fluid. It's a non-Newtonian fluid. There are many non-Newtonian fluids around. You just don't realize it. They don't all behave like your magic mud, but each is special in its own way. Ketchup, paint, shampoo, and even certain types of glue are all non-Newtonian fluids. Quicksand is also a non-Newtonian fluid that acts more like your magic mud. It gets more vicious the more shearing force you apply. And that wraps it up. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something today. Don't forget to like if you enjoyed it and to subscribe for more interesting videos.